everyone. In this next video, I will show you uh, the use of WP Globus. In the previous video, I showed you how to install it. Now, how it works. Uh, simple as we have uh, the two tabs. If we have chosen Spanish, English, or the language that have you choose. So we hit here in the tab, then we have here the title and the space for the text. The things I do is just copy the the full text. Sometimes I forget the full length of the name of the title. So we just start writing. Then to copy the the post here I have some images and some links and to copy it we can do control select it or control A we copy it and we paste it and we have the full post with the original language so there are many ways you can tr translate you can do it manually for example the selection of a quality software is difficult for business but this can take some time do it manually so there is another way sometimes I do it is just to copy the text we go to a translator I choose Google Translator and copy it and then I leave the original text give it a space and then paste the translated text some people say yes but translator by machine is not uh, hundred percent correct or it might have some errors of course it totally does still some translations machines have many many errors so I prefer to do this like this way and then start to check the words that it says for example there are already several options that offer the best CRM Existen ya varias opciones que ofrecen los mejores CRM. In this sentence, I have the correct translation, so I leave it like that. In this part, I have a link, so I have to add the link. And in this case, I will show you that the link here is not the English one, so to insert the link for the English text I have to look for it CRM is this one the link I choose in here I have to add the language term that I have to translate it in my case I have Spanish as the base one so the subfolder is in English so I have to add the subfolder post and we continue to do this with all the text so I fix the first paragraph I change some words and then I have the next ones to keep translated so again, I go to Google Translator or, or the one you choose. I copy. Then I paste it. And again, look for errors. Salesforce, Goodspots, there are names of brands. And look again for mistakes of the machine. So I just finished to edit my text with the 
tip by using Google Translator in your own knowledge of the language. So I fully translated. I also added the the information here and here we have the Joe's CEO for example I have chosen my keyword customer relationship management so I have it on the title and on my description of the snippet but one thing that you cannot do while having your free version of the plugin is to choose a focus word for the your translated version you must buy the WP Globus Plus version so that you can upgrade it to have a another link here for example for my English version I have the subfolder and the full Spanish one but in the in the other version you can add the the link that you want also I'm having some problems with C with your CEO to check out the readability sometimes it doesn't work here the correct uh, color but it has your recommendation for a good post according to Joe's CEO and also to finish the WP Globus has the option to add some other image other featured image so for example if I want my English one I have to look for it have to so I have uploaded my new picture here I have both one Spanish and one in English I add the title Also, it's very important for the CEO of your website to have the alt text. Don't forget to add it. And we just hit update. So I am here on my website, on the home page. I have the post that I translated and then we hit here English and then we can see that the featured image here is appearing okay the, the new one the one in English and also the the full title is in the language I chose so I hit here And after going to my new post recently translated the only problem I'm facing is that my theme is not changing the featured image to English so I have to deal with that but the full text is now in English the links here and that's how you change from one language to another also another problem and that I'm facing is that when you have the post in two languages is that in some parts of your website it might uh, read the titles like this because this part of the code of the plugin 
says that these parts